Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroot from DCube, ddd.ca. I've turned down my introduction music due to multiple complaints. Um, today's lesson is a wall definition. It is intermediate um, because it is a party wall. Let's get started here. So I already have my wall there, but I'll just show you what I'm doing here, which is the 2x4 party wall. This was found inside of the draw symbol details. So we're going to be doing this type of wall right here. Now the problem with this wall, uh, what a lot of people will at least try to do, is they put in two walls put together. Um, so I'm going to click on that one, hit OK. Draw the wall from there to there. And then they try to draw a wall close to it which doesn't work out in this case, so I hit undo and or they can just put it to the side and then they try to think they try to outsmart out smart the uh, the wall itself and, and so it doesn't really show properly in a way now uh, what I usually show people is the is the party wall command itself which which, which we're going to make right now so going into um, file and drawing options if you want to put into the system options uh, or either or um, you can actually take the wall out of the drawing options and put it into the system options if you're not really sure how to do that click on here ba boom and that will show you uh, a lesson on how to do that all right define wall edit the wall itself. Now, as a default, of course, party walls are not in here. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm highlighted on the three and a half, so I'm going to do a save as. What I'm doing is when I do a save as is I'm taking the existing, I'll spell it correctly, party wall. I'm taking an existing wall so I can save a little bit of time because uh, I, I'm lazy. So I have my party wall. My th my three and a half is still intact. I did not override it because I did a save as. All right. Now the outside is here and the inside is here. This is technically the outside of the wall, uh, but this isn't an inside wall uh, altogether. Uh, it's an inside. It's an interior wall. Um, so I'm going to change my inside drywall to drywall B. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because I need to sort of make the uh, inside wall a uh, different type of drywall itself. Now I do that because, uh, at least in this part, um, the inside would be um, an export, um, <coughs> a fireboard. So I'm going to be doing um, the code of this area, or at least uh, the code what uh, the builders that I deal with like using. If you want to change it up, please use its information and expand on it yourself. So, um, add new material. So automatically, the Adobe brick pops up. A lot of people ask me that. But that's because it's alphabetical order. That's the only reason why that pops up first. So I'm changing my first section to airspace, and I'm going to make it one inch airspace in between. Um, height and everything else is stay the same. Add new material. Again with Adobe Brick, change that over to the mirrored version of what we're doing of what we had so far. So drywall B, clicking on there, and that's uh, 0.5. So we actually are doing the opposite of what the is on the other side of the airspace. So that said, we're going to continue on with the add new material, change our Adobe Brick. And since things on the uh, adding the brick, it usually starts at the bottom. Um, we're going to be changing this uh, to a plate. Plate A. Uh, what's the difference between plate A and plate B? The only thing, the only difference is the actual name itself. Uh, I use plate plate B for uh, different types of wood, um, but there is actually a plate pressure treated in that, so you can just use that. So the width, of course, is going to be three and a half because it is a stud itself, and the height is going to be inch and a half because we're talking about a plate. So it actually will grow uh, or actually mold to what you ask in time. All you have to do is ask for it. So our plate is done. Add new material. Put that a little more on the screen. All right. Um, Adobe brick again. 
and we're going to be putting on our stud insulated alphabetical order or somewhat alphabetical order stud insulated and the width is correct the height is not correct as you can see up here uh, 91.5 I'm actually going to use that same height um, in this case we have an 8 foot high wall but um, you would actually use whatever is given there so 91.5 and uh, let's fill in the gap there. So we have uh, three inches probably left over. So let's make sure. Click on Add New Material. It does try to put Adobe Brick in there. So we're going to be dealing with our last two top plates. And unfortunately, those are two separate materials. So you have to put both plates in individually. There's our height. Height says three inches, so I have to change that to inch and a half. And again, Add Material up on top. As you can see up here, it says the Adobe Bricks, so I'm changing that to Plate A. There we go. And the height is not does not need to change because it already is an inch and a half, because that was the remaining side there. Add new material. Now, I will stress, um, if your code does ask you for poly, then make sure you do it. Um, I'm just going to show you this and then hopefully you can expand on it. I only have 10 minutes. So uh, clicking on here and oh, not thinking straight is going to be the drywall A this time. And of course, because we're closing up our wall and uh, the height or sorry, the width is going to be 0 0.5, 96. All right, that is done. So as you can see on here, the little plan view, the um, the, this line here is a little thicker. The reason why is because visibility is turned on for the uh, the drywall itself. Let me click on there and probably put this in the screen so everyone can see. Okay, so the uh, visibility is turned on. I'm going to turn them both off. Now I'm just going by example cause, uh, because if I slide up to the top here, this drywall here is actually invisible is already turned off automatically. The reason why we actually turn them off is because they need to be counted in Material S 3Ds, but um, when you have it in the plan view, there's no need to actually keep, take, keep a look at, uh, keep an eye on that. So there's no need to have the drywall showing in a working drawing. All right, um, clicking on uh, the stud insulated. Now uh, the visibility, same idea as the drywall, we want to and show the visibility of it. Now it's going to need to show the visibility. Right now the texture itself, the texture pattern, is set to nothing. So I'm going to change that to uh, insulation. So now it shows it up there. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other stud, um, which is actually still called stud. So maybe I should probably slip over there, change that stud to stud insulated, which is two down. slip back again and our stud insulated and it's going to have a check mark there Oop, I just double clicked by mistake and the uh, texture itself has got to be the bad insulation so you will actually see the bad insulation for both now um, in addition to that I'm running out of time but um, I can uh, what I like doing is changing my air space extension to be center. The reason why is because you technically have two units, so you would actually want to dimension the center of that party wall. So, uh, that done. Wait a second here before it comes up, and then clicking on our party wall, which is done for us. Of course, you can reposition that. There's no problem at all with that. Once you uh, draw your wall, it shows as a proper wall itself. Excellent. If you have any requests whatsoever, uh, how to do anything inside of SoftPlan, please email me at softplantv at ddd.ca. Thank you very much for watching SoftPlan TV.